Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Badoo. TNT. Yeah. They have put lab grown blood <laughs> in people in the first clinical trial of its of its type. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean lab grown blood? What does that mean? It's like they do lab grown organs. <laughs> Somehow, Something's... they're growing, they're cloning mother effing blood. Yo. They said, it says, tiny amounts equivalent to a couple of spoonfuls are being tested to see how it performs in the body. Uh, the bulk of transfusions will always rely on regular people. The goal is to manufacture vital but ultra rare blood groups that are hard to get a hold of. What the hell? It said they're necessary for people who, who uh, depend on regular blood transfusions for conditions such as sickle cell. Uh, blood, if the blood is not precise match, the body rejects it, obviously, and they, they think it's, uh, the level of tissue matching goes beyond the well-known A, B, A, B, and O blood. It says, uh, it might only be 10, let's, what's it say? Some groups were really, really rare, and there might only be, like, 10 people in the country that are able to, like, get blood. Um, so basically, two people, the first two people taking part of the product aims to test the blood in 10 healthy volunteers. They get two donations of blood four months apart and it's been tagged with a radioactive substance so they can so they can see how long it lasts in the body or if we break it down or like whatever sure so it's basically they're hoping the blood will be more potent than normal so the red blood cells will last for around 100, 120 days before they need to be like we're done so i think it's, if this works yeah amazing it's the most Wakandan bullshit I've ever heard of in my life. Is that what happens in Wakanda? <laughs> Basically, where you're just like cloning blood and like, hey, look, you need a heart right now. All right, just 3D print a heart out. <laughs> wow, I guess I didn't know that's what they were doing in they Wakanda. They definitely 3D print hearts. I want a Artificial new, hearts. I want a new heart. What I mean, I probably mess my heart up in, four, in uh, you know, in all I don't years. know, man. Honestly, getting a new heart is a lot of bullshit because there's like anti-rejection medications mm -hmm. that you have to take for the rest of your life. Yeah, yeah. Like right. if you need a heart like right now, then yeah, it's your option, but it ain't necessarily. But it's not. Well, I mean, just the I mean, just the uh, recovery from open heart surgery is hell. Mm -hmm. And then on top of it, your body's going to try to reject that heart the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. So then your immune system's weakened because you're taking like suppressants. For, so your immune system isn't so like if you yeah yeah like, it's a lot man but i mean if your options are death or that yeah i'll take that i guess but you know honestly jonas with the way the things are going man like this is proof in the pudding right here is like technological advances in the field of health are taking up we're gonna have hearts that are gonna be working better than the hearts that we have in our body of course with maintenance because anything electronic or you know man-made needs right. maintenance but right, right. eventually we're gonna to get to the point where we're replacing our organs with things that are better functioning yeah well it's than like what we they say a lot body. of times people who have like total knee replacements <laughs> mm -hmm. that the knee functions better than their real knee did mm -hmm. you know yeah it's a lot of stress it's a lot of recovery mm -hmm. but it's it's all mechanical. Nothing break. It's like yeah, it breaks down, but not like our real tendons and our real cartilage mm -hmm, and all mm -hmm. that. It's like it's like stuff meant to last forever. It's but, pretty cool. But they do start breaking down because I know like my grandma had a knee replacement, met however thirty years ago or mm -hmm, something. Mm -hmm. So, but also technology then was a lot worse. But so they <laughs> they true. do they do break down, especially if you had one in the eighties or something in the nineties. Yeah, but I mean, look, man. <laughs> So does your meat knee. Your meat knee breaks down too. Your meat heart breaks down too. Right, exactly. Exactly. But like it, yeah, people people seem to think I mean, I would never just replace my knee because I wanted to. I would if it could give me like a double jump or something. <laughs> Can I get my You're all about like uh, you just want to be a, a cyborg, don't you? I do. Honestly, yes, Jerry. Neuralink, double jump yes, knees. Yes. Okay. Dude, I played Cyberpunk and I want all of that shit. Like a fist that can just punch through all, like yes. Jack's arms from I Mortal want Kombat. Fuck, I want fucking razor blade arms. I want a double jump and I want to be able to like turn off video cameras with my mind. Just video cameras? And like, I don't know, shut down like any electronic or start a car or something. Start like, a car. Yeah, it gets cold out in the wintertime. I want to start my car. I just think I about mean, it. I mean, you know they have keyless entry. that You can just do that from the house. But I want to do it with my mind. Uh, I mean, essentially, it's the same. You want to take the one step of hitting a button away? Yeah, uh, yes. 
That All part. right. I mean, you're not wrong. We have self driving cars out here, Jonas. Yes, those are great. Those work really well. <laughs> going to get at me for wanting to. Like the fleet of taxis Elon said he'd have on the roads by like whatever 2020 or whatever. He can't oh, even put the goddamn yeah. cyber truck out. Like that, they said they're putting out their truck yeah. like two years ago. Are you talking about the, the concept car or are you talking about the, uh, the, the semis that were supposed to Well, no, to be not out? even that. Tesla was supposed to put out like a pickup. Oh, that's yeah. nowhere to be found. They got car. Well, yeah, and then the the this, commercial semis. And then there was the semis, and then there was the cyber truck that uh, looked like something out of Tron. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then, and then of course the self driving taxi fleet that was supposed to be out. Mm -hmm. And my efforts out here getting killed by Tesla dri self driving cars. Yeah, but still, it's less than what would happen on a normal day with normal people driving cars. That's the thing that they hide about that is okay. that yes, people have died from. Uh, the Tesla's malfunctioning. Okay. But if you look into the statistics of how many people have died in the last five years from the Tesla right. uh, auto drive malfunctioning versus how many people have died from people driving with their meat hands and meat brains. Meat hand and meat brains. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a lot less. And I mean, you know, I mean, obviously. You're not wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, you got more people driving with one than the other, but by comparison. Well, but I think the whole point that people and this is not is it's, it's human thinking is wrong they think self-driving car 100 percent self safe whereas in human not 100 percent safe i mean when we go out on the freeway man we're pretty much like oh we're safe i do not feel that way you don't feel that no, way because if you really knew the amount of danger you were in you would never drive yeah no i don't feel safe because i see almost every time i get on the goddamn freeway somebody almost pulls into my lane or does something stupid like i have to watch out like i know that I am paying attention. Mm -hmm. And that's all I can control. Mm -hmm. But I got to be vigilant because out here, especially in Austin, MFers out here just being no, wild. They're, they're crazy, man. They're Dude, crazy. it's just like, like I was driving somewhere a few days ago and like all of a sudden, bro just like tried to pull into my lane. He yep. has a brand, he had brand new temp tags on his truck, just bought it. <laughs> I had to burn him and like his kid was in the back, looked out the window like, what's happening? I'm like your dad can't drive, mother effer. Yeah. I screamed that. I told him he was not good enough. He should. No, I didn't say. Exactly. I just honked because he literally almost he's, hit me. He's obviously a, a, not a good a person as you because he drives <laughs> poorly. Yes, that's how I judge everyone's <laughs> worth. That's pretty um, much. That's pretty much. But yeah, funny. dude. I I uh, I do not like. I mean, I don't. I don't mind driving at all. Right? There's people who literally are scared of driving. And, and I, honestly, I kind of feel like their fears are in solid ground honestly yeah it's a but, well grounded fear to have but i'm gonna be a hundred with you i'll be i got a little bit of driving ego you know why why is we that, grew dude? up in some nasty ass conditions we i feel did? like i can drive in anything uh yeah i like, agree bad storm i agree walk, rain pfft, f yeah, yeah. snow what i have i have driven in conditions that no one should ever drive in yeah, yeah. for long 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 distances yeah. at un probably unsafe speeds because you have to go yeah. at least a certain speed where i i like white knuckling the goddamn steering wheel like just being like i'm gonna die yeah. i'm gonna die. the whole time i'm like don't die don't die don't die it's, don't die don't die it's <laughs> like if you if you need a bodyguard are you going to trust a guy who just got out of high school? Or are you going to trust the guy who had 10 years on the police force? Oh, yeah, or in the military or something. Me right? and Jonas have been to weather Vietnam. <laughs> All right, in a car, yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, weather we have Vietnam. driven through World War weather I've in our cars. Zero visibility, snow, rain, uh, the ice, black ice stacked ten feet high. Yeah, oh yeah, all yeah. of that. Yeah, I. There is no environment I am scared to get in the car and drive. Exactly, but it's like, <laughs> and then like yesterday to drive somewhere after work, and in Texas it was raining, and oh my god, it took me fifteen extra minutes to get there. Yeah. <laughs> well, and and. and it should have taken me 30. It took me 45 to get there because I wasn't even driving on the goddamn freeway. I was driving on a regular road. It wasn't even raining anymore. And everyone was going like 15 miles an hour. On the hey, speed look, man, I, I, at least at least they're at least they know their limitations. Jonas. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, it is funny because like when you see all those areas that never get snow and then you look on they'll show like I'm on, on the news like just and we even said this when you were going to work one day when we had snow here like people just like pull off and park on the side of the road and get like I'm done get out of the, <laughs> yeah, or they just like yeah. slide off the yeah. road everywhere because they don't know how to drive like they don't know that you can't slam on your goddamn brakes when it's I got, snowing. I got one quick question before before we yeah, yeah. before we leave Jones what car when you see it on the road what car type or brand or model pisses you off the most to see 
Probably. Well, he had one ready. <laughs> Here it goes. I was no. I think I think the one that makes me the most frustrated. Just be in the car. Yeah, those g- giant ass trucks. Like the F two fifties. Three. The yeah, because they're the, almost too big to be in the lane. And yeah. and I don't know. I don't want to. I I don't know the uh, percentage. But a lot of people who drive them. Do yeah. not know how to handle them properly that, that because they're the like point. they're always like going out of the lanes. They're just yeah. it's like every time I see a big ass truck, I don't judge them for what they bought. <laughs> like, oh, you got a big truck because of whatever. I judge them because you don't know what you're doing with that. They don't know, man. You don't need that on a goddamn a, right, on yeah. a two. You don't need to be driving an effing Hummer down the street, bro. Five times out of ten, they don't know what they're doing. They're moving across the the dotted line into right, your man. lane or whatever. Yeah, I know what I know what you're talking yeah, about. And th- that would probably be the one that stick. What about you? PT Cruiser. <laughs> my grandma has one. <laughs> oh, man. I got a problem with your grandma. I'm going to call my grandma and tell her that you hate her right now. Me and me, going to have a talk. Yeah. You need to sell that car, Gra- dude. Those PT Cruisers. <laughs> Does, do they even make those anymore? I don't know. Oh, anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, go to the crazy We out.